Hello, my name is David Kelsey, and I am proud to be the current president of the Association of Bookmobile and Outreach Services. I am here today to co-host the fourth installment of Membership Mondays, where we showcase the many faces of our ABOS family members. This series is part of our 2021 ABOS All Aboard Membership Campaign. Joining me today is Crystal Harris, our ABOS Membership Committee Chair, as well as my co-host of the Membership Monday series. With us is Ann Plasek, Outreach Services Manager of the Medina County Library System in Ohio. Ann was also the 2017 ABOS President as well as one of the 2020 ABOS John Philip Excellence and Outreach Award winners, our organization's highest honor and distinction. Welcome, Anne. Crystal and I are so happy that you could join us for our All Aboard Membership Monday series. So Anne, how long have you been a member of the Association of Bookmobile and Outreach Services? Well, first of all, let me thank you, David, for um, inviting me to participate and basically inviting anybody who's a member to participate. I think this is such a fabulous idea to uh, kind of really just move our membership forward. And David, you're just doing a brilliant job with all of the marketing. Um, but to answer your question, I have been a member of ABOS uh, since, gosh, I think it was 2008 would have been the nice. first year. So 13 years. Nice. We're glad to have you part of our family, Anne. Thank you. And what inspired you to become a member of the organization? Well, um, to, to start with, it was the listserv. Uh, when I was new to outreach, um, there's just so much to learn. I actually had worked on a bookmobile when I was in high school in Indiana. So I knew a little bit about working on bookmobiles, but then I went off and became a children's librarian. And then when I changed roles in 2007 to become um, a bookmobile manager, I'm like, oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Don't know what to do about that. That's just a lot more, uh, a lot more in-depth information that I needed to know, and I knew I was going to need help. I was in over my depth, and my manager of the department uh, kind of got me hooked up with Avos. Told me about the list serve, so that was where I started. Was just kind of playing around on the list serve and asking a few questions, and then doing the lurking like a lot of people do, just mm -hmm. to to find out the answers that other people are asking uh, questions about. Um, and then from then I went to the uh, conference down in Columbus. I was lucky uh, that it was only an hour and a half away. So that was my first year uh, in uh, managing a bookmobile that I got to go and um, go to a conference. And so I was only there um, for two days. I didn't, I only did, didn't do quite the full conference, but that was my first foray into to AVOS and boy, was I hooked at that point. <laughs> so I just knew that I wanted to continue on and, um, so I went to the conference in 2010 when it was in Cleveland and we drove our bookmobile up to that. And that's, you know, I'm kind of right in between those mm -hmm. two. So that was convenient. And then, um, oh boy, once, you're, once you've gone to a conference, you're mm -hmm. hooked. So I feel like anybody who's out there who's a newbie who hasn't gotten to go to a conference yet, um, if you're not hooked through the listserv and all of the social media posts, going to a conference will definitely hook you. So... I always like to say conferences, and and Crystal will agree with us, like family reunions, where you get to see old friends and meet new ones. It's really that family feel. Yeah, my uh, kids uh, hate it. I call uh, all of my ABOS people my peeps. Yes, just, yes. That bugs them. But, you know, it's my peeps. It's my family. And Love it. Love and it. There's just nothing like it in library land. I've been to conferences, mm -hmm. you know, state level, regional level, but there is nothing like being at an ABOS conference where you're really with people that are like-minded and they understand the same issues that you're going through. What we do is so unique and there's nobody else in your library system that understands uh, the different issues that you're facing. So if you don't have the connections that you get through AVOS, you're just kind of lost. Yes, so. I agree with that. Our AVOS people get what outreach people exactly do. AVOS people get outreach so well. And that's, that's what we do. AVOS is all about outreach. So. Exactly. So how have you been involved with the organization, Anne? Um, well, like I said, I started by uh, the, going through the listserv and then going to a couple of conferences. And then, um, you know, it's kind of expensive and a lot of library systems can't afford to send people to conferences. And so I knew that if I wanted to be able to go to a conference that was going to be out of state, 
I was going to have to step up my game and maybe do a presentation so that it would get the discounted rate. And so uh, I looked at, in 2012, uh, I wrote up a proposal for a program on uh, how to use your bookmobile in a time of crisis. And so that proposal was accepted and I was super excited, but then I had some health issues and wasn't able to attend in 2012. So it was a darn, I, my colleague got to go and do that presentation. So in 2014, the conference was in San Diego and I'm like, mm, I am going to San Diego. Yeah, what can I when am I going to San Diego, time? exactly? <laughs> yeah, how can I get to San Diego? <laughs> So um, I wrote a proposal for a, a program that we were doing uh, with early literacy for that conference. And oh boy, when that was accepted, I was so excited to go to that conference. And that was a really unique conference. If there's anybody who's watching this that was at that conference, mm -hmm. it was a unique venue. Um, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful situation. It wasn't necessarily the best place to um, presentations. Uh, my first presentation was actually on a steamboat docked in the bay, um, which was great. Great, great view watching seal boats go by while I'm talking. Uh, but what really inspired me, that was the question, I believe. Um, when I did that first presentation, I can't even tell you how nervous I was. I had never spoken to you know, a national you know, association and really even to large groups of adults. Um, and I looked up and then President Aletha Davis was sitting in, in the audience and I caught her eye and I'm like, oh, I'm a little nervous here. <laughs> so, but she just gave me a big old smile like Aletha does. She's just uh, such an inspiration. And um, at that time, she, after I did the presentation, she came up to me afterwards and just really kind of talked to me through, you know, how, how Abos works and welcomed me to, to the presentation, welcomed me to meeting other people, introduced me to a lot of people. And then the next day she came up to me and, you know, and said, you know, you really ought to consider running for a board position. You know, you've kind of taken the step into being a presenter, but boy, I think, you know, you should really consider running for the board. And so I came back and talked to my manager uh, at the time to see if that was something the library would support. And they were very supportive. So I put my name in the hat at that time and ran for the board and was lucky enough to get elected on my first go around. So um, but anybody out there that if you don't get elected on your first go around, mm -hmm. keep trying. It, the more, you know, it's, it's not always a first time for everybody. But so I was on the board for one year um, and then they had a, you know, vice presidency position opened up and there really weren't a whole lot of people that were interested in running. And so I went, well, I'll, I'll give it a try. Um, and yeah, so I did. And that was great. And yeah, it's quite an experience. So, you know, I served the three years then. Um, now I'm active on the um, uh, BOIR project that kind of fell under uh, my original, um, when I was president, we worked on that a lot. Um, that's the Bookmobile inf Outreach Information mm -hmm. Repository for anybody who doesn't know what that is. Um, and I'm also on the Education Committee, so I'm still trying to keep uh, active with ABOS and uh, do things on the listserv when I can. Great. Thank you, Anne. Yep. It's so glad you're part of our family. And you were my you were one of my first presidents. I served under your Neath Field Edition in 2017. I was your board member at large and uh, uh, also your board's committee chair. It was an honor to serve under your great leadership, Anne. Thanks, David. I have to throw in here, I for I remember the moment I met David at St. Charles. I remember him sitting at a table and I sat down with him and I was just, oh, he had on his matching shirt and his matching glasses, and it was his first you know year and doing library outreach and he was just so excited that the conference was there and it, yes, it was. it's been a privilege to see david grow through the years thank you it's an honor to work with you Anne, under your leadership and to get to know you so it's wonderful thank you for all you do so and i agree whenever i saw david he was always smiling but this isn't about david okay so <laughs> It should be. We need to interview David for this. <laughs> like every year, every time I saw him, he's just always smiling and so welcoming. Um, okay, so what is your favorite ABOS conference memory? That's really an unfair question. <laughs> um, there's so, so many. Um, one, of the, one of my first memories that I really remember was um, when I went to a conference and just seeing a lot of bookmobiles at one time. That was just really mind-blowing to be able to walk onto multiple vehicles that had multiple styles from sprinters to buses to box trucks just to be able to see the possibilities 
Um, so that is one of my favorite conference memories, but um, another one just from the education perspective would be any workshop that Michael Swindrowski did that you really got to know the ins and outs of bookmobiles um, and to get the education that you need in purchasing a new bookmobile. But then really, truly, it's all the people memories and I can't even begin to divulge some of those uh, memories here because, yeah, but if you might know who I'm talking about if I'm... Uh, if you spent time with me, we've had some great memories. And if we haven't had time to spend together yet for anybody who's out there who's new, I will catch up with you at one of these conferences and we'll, we'll make those memories. It's so many memories are made. I just, I have so many fond memories of going to Abel's conferences. Like you said, it's like a family reunion. That's how I it's feel. It's better like. than a family yes, reunion. Yes, it is. Yes, it <laughs> is. I agree. <laughs> yes, I agree. So Anne, how has Abel's helped you grow in your career? Oh, wow. Um, the first buddy that, you know, came into this role, um, you know, hadn't really been involved at a, even a regional level or a state level. Um, getting involved with ABOS was just a great way to uh, further my career. And, you know, starting with the baby steps, you know, like a lot of us do, just starting with a listserv and then starting, you know, by becoming a member and then, you know, getting involved with a committee. Um, you know, the, it's just, there's so many doors that open because it is a small organization. I'm really excited that we're growing, but there's also something to be said for being a relatively small organization. And I think that, you know, membership implies that you're going to be involved. You're not, you know, just lurking on the listserv anymore. You're involved and you want to make a difference. And I think that, um, you know, anybody that does library outreach and really wants to take the library beyond the walls, um, you know, we're passionate about it and we want to be well equipped to do our jobs. And so part of that is the responsibility of um, making sure we're educated. And so I think Abel's is the best place that you can possibly learn everything you need to know about providing outreach services and thinking outside of the box and learning from each other. And there's that responsibility as well as a member that you're, you're not just soaking up the knowledge, you're also sharing the knowledge. And I think that's the beauty of this organization. And like for me, I'm getting a brand new bookmobile in May. And as long as I've done bookmobiles, I've never actually designed one. I've never done things with, you know, I've never had carts on a bookmobile. So there's, no matter how you long you've been doing this, there's always something new coming down the pike. And hopefully somebody else in Avos has um, maybe challenged, faced that challenge before. And, you know, I can reach out and somebody can help me with questions that I have. So, yeah. I always like to say ABOS, so the members support each other. They encourage each other and believe in each other. There's so many mentors, this organization. You're one of my main mentors, Anne. So thank you for all you've supported thank me you, and David. everybody well, in the field. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's interesting is a lot of people are getting new. I've been congratulating a lot of people on getting new mm -hmm. bookmobiles mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. It seems like, so congratulations. Yes, yeah, yeah, very thanks. exciting. There's congratulations. Really big I can't wait to, to get it. But this is yeah. also such a weird time to be getting a bookmobile. You know, during COVID, it's like, oh, I'm really excited, but I'm not sure exactly when I'll be out on the road. Mm -hmm. I'm not real sure how many people will be on board. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a very weird time for everyone, but I think especially if you're getting a new vehicle and trying to figure out what will work. But we're nothing if we're not adaptable. So yes, adapting that's outreach. The outreach folks are. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have any tips for those entering the field of bookmobiles and outreach services? Get involved, network, connect, um, connect, connect, connect. Uh, start at the listserv level, uh, reach out to the network of people and just ask questions, ask there's no such thing as a dumb question and your everybody's situation is going to be unique so nobody's going to be able to tell you exactly how to run your outreach department or your bookmobile but you can glean so much information from other people so take advantage of that and then it's also connecting in your community because we really are the library beyond the walls so you need to know in your local community who do you reach out to find out who who the um, movers and shakers are in your community um, I was lucky enough here in Medina County to take part in leadership Medina County. So if you are in an area where there's a leadership program, take advantage of that because that's where you're going to make connections with people um, who can point you in new directions, maybe new places that you could uh, run a new program or connect with a new community partner. So um, yeah, connect. That is my biggest piece of advice. 
Don't be Great. shy. Thank you, Anne. And lastly, why would you encourage others to join AVOS? Mm, why wouldn't you is my question. It is so affordable. It's like ridiculously cheap to, to be a member of a national organization. And it, if you're, you, the biggest thing is if you're going to a conference, it would be silly not to be a member. But even in non-conference years, it's nice. It's something on your resume. Um, it's that sense of being active and being a member, like I alluded to before, you're not just, you know, sitting on the sidelines, you can be actively involved. Uh, you can take advantage of scholarships and award opportunities. Um, you can vote, you can, uh, our new education committee that's starting to do more continuing education, there's going to be more opportunities coming down the pike with that. So I, I would encourage anybody to join. It's just, it's, there's no better place you get to join the family. And we'd love to have you. Thank you, Anne. So Anne, Crystal and I would like to thank you for being with us, being with us here today for our fourth installment of the All Aboard Membership Monday series. We appreciate you sharing with us, Anne, how AVOS has helped shape your career, as well as showcasing why you encourage others to become an official member of the association. Crystal and I would also like to thank you, Anne, for everything you have done and continue to do for AVOS our ABOS membership and our annual ABOS conference. On behalf of ABOS, I'd like to thank everyone who tuned in today for our fourth installment of the All Aboard Membership Monday series. Have a wonderful day and a fantastic week. And don't forget, All Aboard. Thanks, David. This was wonderful.